Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to continue our uh, uh, curriculum, uh, Connect Plus, and today we are going to have Unit 11. Uh, unit 11, as you see in front of you, this is theme 4 and it's about communication. We are going to continue this theme again. Okay. In the, in the next slide, you can see the title of lesson one, which is keep in touch. Keep in touch means you, you are going to deal with each other all the time. Or at the end of any uh, phone call, I say keep in touch because I want to hear from you again. Okay. Next slide, you will see here two pages of your book. If you open your book, page 108 and 109, you will see this, this slide in front of you. Let's read the text together and see what we have in this lesson. This is keep in touch. And in the very beginning, you can see what do you think a click is? What do you think a click is? Think about it. Number one, Henny and Hannah are talking together. You see, look at the website, Hannah. Look at this website, Hannah. It's about how people used to communicate. It's about how people used to communicate. It looks more difficult than communicating today. It looks more difficult than communicating today. Number two, Hannah replies, what's that one? What's that one? And she refers to the, that one in front of Hanny. Hanny says, that's a telegraph machine. That's a telegraph machine. It was the first way of sending messages around the world quickly. Okay, that's a telegraph machine. It was the first way of sending messages around the world quickly. Number four, how did it work? How did it work? Ha uh, Hannah asks. Hanny says, let's see, because it, it's not appearing here. Yes, it used Morse code. It used Morse code. That's a code of short and long clicks. That's a code of short and long clicks. The telegraph machine can send signals al uh, along the wire. Okay, the telegraph machine can send signals along the wire. Do you know what the click is? Like that. Okay, so number six. Wow, that sounds complicated. Complicated, very difficult. That sounds complicated. I prefer the video call my friends. I prefer to video call my friends. Of course, this is very easy and easier than using a telegraph. Okay, next slide. Here you can see the communication now and in the past. Communication now and in the past. You can see four devices in front of you. A telephone, a cell phone, a computer, and a laptop. Of course, in the past we used a telephone uh, before we used the cell phones. Okay, and the computer before we use the laptops. In the next slide, you will see sending messages. How did we send message in the past and how we send messages nowadays? Sending messages in the past using telegraph, then letters, then mail. Nowadays, we use the mail or the emails. Of course, the fastest way to send letters. Uh, also typewriter you can see on the uh, other side the typewriter what is this typewriter it was used to write letters books and office documents okay in the next slide you will see also the radio radio we used radio to listen to music and the news also also nowadays if you want to listen to, mu to music you can you can use the mb3 it's down the radio and look at the television in the past. How did it look? You see, it looked funny. Okay, but now you can see the TV. It looks like a very thin screen and we can hang it on the wall. Okay. In the next slide, you will see the computer parts. Here we have uh, uh, actually six parts of the computer. Number one. 
is the monitor. This is the monitor or the screen. Number two is the CPU, which is the central processing unit. Number three, the keyboard. Number four, the mouse. Five is the printer. And six, the speakers. Speakers. Okay? So, this is the end of our lesson today. I hope you understood it and study well. Thank you and bye-bye.